Barbara Streisand. <laughs> okay. See? Very nice. I told you you'd be glad you came. <laughs> Thank you so much. No business like show business. <laughs> I know you hate it and you love it. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for coming. You were on our anniversary show. Yes. Now you're on this show. I couldn't get you for 25 years. Now you're on twice in three weeks. I, I, I love the trend. <laughs> and you sound awesome on the song. You sound as good as you ever have. Oh, thank you. So I'm glad you're still it's singing. <laughs> Any day, there's a new Barbara Streisand album. There's a great day in my house. Oh, I so love sweet. this one. I have all the old ones. I'm going to get the next one and all the new ones that are going to come out. Oh. But this one, you know, it's a great, that's such a catchy tune, too. Oh, good. You know, I'm, I'm glad, glad you, you have your old, your old crew I see in the credits back there. Carol yeah. Baker Sager and yes, absolutely. the Bergmans. Just wonderful team. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I, about <laughs> the album? No, no, it's just interesting you know real life real life and real sadness as well as anger i must say well, motivated it's, me it's amazing that you can album. take something i mean the name of the album uh the walls but the idea the first song what's on my mind you say right in the That's beginning right. i want to i it's so on my mind trump is so on my right. mind mm. you channeled it into That's this right. i couldn't sleep album. nights and so i was thinking oh my god now the the photographs in my head, the pictures, you know, the children being ripped out of the arms of their parents. Um, I remember, you know, about the, one of the last lines in that song is, what ever happened to just being kind? Yeah. And, uh... Well, it's still there. It's still there somewhere. But I think, I think we share something which is we both hate liars. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do almost anything to me or say That's anything right. to I me. That's right, I agree. Just don't lie to me. I know. See, it's, it's such I a great... I was lied to as a child. That's why I'm so passionate about lies and people who lie. Um, By family? Uh, I, was at, I was sent away to a summer camp. <laughs> and I, summer camps my mother always... came to, to visit me. I, uh, I said, you're not leaving without me. I always had a strong will, you know? And uh, I got a carton, I remember, and packed my things up, and she had to take me home. And in the car was this stranger, this new man. Oh. And I, I thought, who, who is this? And he turned out to be my stepfather. That I was never told about that, and that I, my mother was going to have another baby. Nothing was ever told to me. You know, when I said to... Uh, my mother, why didn't, well, that was later, but I said, why didn't you ever talk to me about my father? My father was a teacher, a scholar, and uh, a religious man, by the way. Uh, and she said, well, I thought you'd miss him. But you see, you see what I mean by yeah. uh, the, the lying, by the way, as an actress or a singer, what you depend upon is truth. Truth communicates. Lies... It reads, yeah. Well, in this case, I mean, his lies seem yeah. to work for a bit. But truth eventually wins out, don't you think? Well, people, it reads. It reads. It, the, the audience or people who are voting for a politician, they very often don't know the specifics, but they kind of sense whether you're for real. Right. I mean, not everybody, even in my own audience, right. agrees with me on stuff. Yeah. But the bond is that they, they know I'm never pulling a punch. Right. I'm always being straight right. with them as, right. Right. Exactly. as to how I feel. It's very powerful. Right. And, you know, when, it, when you're like that, you can be friends with the other side. You of are friends course. with Republicans. Of I mean, I, you, Bob Dole you know, called you recently, right? You that's had, right. <laughs> that's Bob it. Dole. When I went to sing in uh, Didn't know he was Houston. Alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's 95 years old wow. and sounds totally there, plausible and gentle and kind. Um, I keep using that word, but it's very meaningful to me. But, um, yeah, he wanted to give me a compliment, it was just very sweet. And we talked about working across the aisle 
and how much he was able to do with George Mitchell when he was the, uh, George Mitchell was the Democrat, yeah. of course, but uh, Bob Dole was the leader of the Senate. And uh, that's the way it works. Did you see um, Fareed, Fareed Zakaria with Madeleine Albright and Colin Powell? No. I mean, they're dear friends. They were both secretaries of state for different kinds of right. presidents. And yet, same people can agree to disagree yeah. in a very civil way. Conversation. I think part of the problem is that politics is too much in our life. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. it was like something that was almost impolite to talk about. You didn't talk about <laughs> re religion or politics. The neighbors, we didn't know what they, where they went to worship or who they voted for. You just didn't go there. And I think that's our way back to sanity. Hmm. People say you got to talk to the other side, but then what they really mean is you got to convince them. You're never going to oh. convince them. No. You got, but just don't. Don't talk about that shit. Talk yeah. about you know everything else that people used to talk about. What's interesting about. is that when, like as an actor, you have to inhabit other people's personas. Right. You play that role. But in order to play them, you have to understand them. And, and that takes away a lot of bigotry, I think, if you really step into other people's shoes. Right. And Empathy. Uh, empathy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think one reason why the right, I mean, they fear you, but they go to your concerts. You know, I mean, you, they do. Well, I was fascinated. One, one place I don't remember, I think it was in Washington, D.C., I asked, how many people in the audience are Republicans? And a lot of people raised their yeah. hands. And I said, sure, you're, you're the ones who could afford these tickets. <laughs> so, uh, but no, I love that. Of course. I mean, because art cuts through it. That's right. They, art transcends it, politics. It really does. It, it does. Um, and, and so does music. But one reason I think they are always, you know, against you is because you have been effective. I remember in 1986. So you they're did... against me? Yes, they're very much against you. <laughs> they don't like you. Well, they I talk... remember years yes. ago when I was supporting something you were on the gun en... control. I was on Nixon's enemies, enemies list. list. That's right. Which um, I was very proud to be, and I still am proud to be. I, 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 uh, I'm... <laughs> so that's, that's the good news. I was kind of gratified when I found out this week I was on the bombers list, you know? I mean, you, you don't want to be left that's out. It's a little more scary. It is a lot of more scary. Well, it's all scary. But, yeah. but you know, in 1986, you, I remember you did that concert. for, right. for And it was oh, about yeah. the Senate was very much uh, in balance. Republican. And yes, the had, Democrats kind of pulled it out. I mean, we people... We raised said, money for yeah. five out of our six senators. Yeah. And they won, and the, uh, the Senate was able to flip from Republican to Democrat. Yeah. So that was very powerful. Yeah. That's I mean, music. Music. And money. And also Robin money. Williams was my opening act, and then Barry Gibb came out and sang a duet. Oh, I, I mean, it was a good evening. You know, I love Barry Gibb. I love yeah, Barry yeah. He said about you, there are the ten greatest singers in the world, and then there's Barbara Streisand. Oh. You remember that? Was, no, I don't. When you were doing the Guilty 2 album. He said it, yeah. My God. I don't remember great <laughs> I know. Things. I remember your I career remember better than you do sometimes. <laughs> the bad uh, yeah. articles and stuff. I don't but, remember that. So um, how That's do you nice. balance... I think we all fight this. How do we balance, like, not being obsessed with Donald Trump, thinking about him all day, because I've never known a president who was more in our heads, yeah, which is exactly. sort of what the album is about. Exactly. But uh, what you, I do is, first of all, engage. I eat a lot. You eat? <laughs> I eat that. And I eat sweets, like coffee, ice cream, right? That, that counterbalances the bitterness <laughs> that he's throwing at us, right? And, uh, and also, I have to play games, literally, before I go to sleep. I mean, to get him out of my head, to get the news that I watch all day <laughs> out of my head, um, thinking about tomorrow. I have to be in the present. To be in the present, you have to play uh, gin, you know? You have to play rummy cube. Right. You have to play scramble. That's my way. What do you do? Uh, I just turn... I, I, I find I'm watching in-season basketball. I've never done that. Really? Uh, yeah, I've always waited till the playoffs came around, and now it's like... I don't understand I, those things. Well, it's like just, it's just as opposed to watching the news. I, I mean, I can't watch the news all the oh, time. Oh, that's right. You have to turn yeah. it off at some yeah. point. Um, just what's going on with the environment. Oh, my God. I mean, that's... You know, See, that's, that's like the forgotten issue because of all this thing. other nonsense. You mentioned 
uh, about the younger people. And I read an yeah. article the other day that talked about 18 to 29-year-olds, one-third of them are not going to vote. And I think, but what do you mean? Just think about climate change. What's going to happen to your future, your children's future? This is a terrible problem. The Republicans and this administration have wiped off all of the information about climate yeah. truth, the truth yeah. of, of That's, climate They don't uh, even want to know what change. the... Yeah. It's one thing to make the argument. It's another thing to not no, let the people hear what the truth is. Right. So, so there's no transparency. It wasn't there with his tax returns, you know? Didn't people think, what is he hiding? I mean, why change the norm? Why is he above the law? I mean, yeah. I know it's not a law, but why is he abusing this power he has? Those people who say you should Why does he live with those conflicts of interest? Why do they let the other Republicans let him get away with it? Well, yes, that's a great question. They're the enablers. Where are the George Bushes of yesteryear? Those people you we, talked we about, so the Bob Doles. They... We so appreciate George yeah. Bush now. Um, well, that's, that's, yeah. I forgot. Well, we have it in perspective. Yes, right. And, and I will be the first to say, right. Mia culpa, maybe I was too hard on him, Con well, now that I see what it could be. Oh, wait, I didn't finish my thought before. I okay. invite, when I sang in uh, Texas, I invited the Bushes to come see the concert. Bush Senior. Senior. Yeah. And Barbara Bush. Right. And they were so lovely and came backstage uh, at first and I gave them a gift and they gave, brought me a gift and invited them to, you know, invited me to their house and so forth. So lovely. And I introduced them to the audience and they got a standing ovation. And I thought, you know, he served our country. She stood up for yeah. women. And, uh, you know, that's our common ground. Right. That's for the common good. It's for decency. And, and uh, you know, people getting along. Well, never stop speaking out, please. Those people who say shut up and sing, do both. <laughs> sing but, and keep speaking out. But I have out. one question, though. Yes. Why do we allow the media to keep showing him on TV? Why are we covering his rallies? He said 70 because there's rallies. Because there's money in it. Because the media used to be a loss leader. They didn't care if covering the news made money. Had and now it has ratings. to report to the stock room like everybody else. Yeah, it, well, that's, that's so the, sad that's to the, me. Don't cover them. Right, exactly. Thank you, Barbara Streisand. Thank you. Barbara Streisand, everybody, on my show. <laughs> Thank you. A national treasure.